test first and foremost. You asked for max sentences. You got them on all of them. What what kind of, sort of conversations did you have with victims? And I'm curious what you heard. And, um, obviously, everyone is very grateful and uh, uh, very appreciative of the time that Judge Doral took to explain her sentence and explain the reasons why. I thought it was very, very impactful that she read a sentence for each victim by name. That was uh, really tremendous. The victims are very grateful for that, that she um, respected and cared about each one of them enough to name them and uh, you know, basically say to the defendant, you're serving 17 years for this person, you're serving 17 years for that person. So um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of tears and happiness, of course. Judge Darrow brought this up that Brooks spoke for more than two hours and she never heard one sentence. She never heard him say that he was sorry to the victims. Right. What are your thoughts on all of that, on, on, his, on his speech, on, on him not apologizing? Yeah, I think we all had that same observation of he was allowed to speak freely for two hours and really much of it was irrelevant um, information that didn't help. She asked him pointedly several times, what do you think I should do? What type of sentence do you think I should impose? And he never directly answered the question. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, the lack of remorse, the lack of responsibility are factors she can consider, and she definitely did. And it definitely was something our victims all noticed too, of course. What were you feeling when everything came to a close today? Hmm. I don't think it's really entirely sunken yet, um, but uh, a little bit of relief just for our families that they don't have to keep coming back here. Um, we're, we've uh, been very grateful that we were able to get this wrapped up in a year's time for our families and not drag this out for years, which you see so commonly. Um, it was very fortunate. The investigation was so well done, so thorough, so uh, easy for us to just move quickly on charges and move the case along. So um, we're very, very glad about that. Every courtroom is different, but Judge Dora allowed clapping and applause on those first six intentional homicide charges. Yep. How did you feel? And um, were you expecting a reaction like that from the folks in the gallery? Uh, I was not expecting it. Um, and it is very, very unusual, as you said. Typically, that's not um, proper courtroom decorum. But I think it was appropriate under this circumstance because of the relief that everybody felt and the magnitude of the events. It just, uh, it felt right to everybody, I think, including Judge Doro. And, and I think she was gracious to allow it to go on, uh, you know, for a short period of time and then said, all right, let's, let's get the work done here. So. Do you think justice was served today? Yes, I do. I mean, I, I'm very grateful that Mr. Brooks will never be a free man. And, uh, you know, it's the best we can do for our victims, unfortunately, is to hold them accountable and, and have him know, have them know that he will never walk free again and have them know that they have the whole community behind them, not only Waukesha, Waukesha County, the state of Wisconsin, really the, the whole nation. Um, the responses we've seen have just been incredible. So.